My name is Carol. Welcome back to our third week of We'll Get Through This. My writing partner, Lydia, and I are offering tips based on the seven dimensions of our holistic health wheel, which you'll find a link at at the bottom of the page. Today, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to start by exploring how to stay socially healthy which is especially hard since we're all social distancing. We know how critical it is to stay in touch, but Stanford psychologist Jamil Zaki takes it one step further. He says that experiments show that the support of loved ones actually softens our response to stress and even our brain's responses to painful electric shocks. Wow. By contrast, loneliness is psychologically poisonous. It increases sleeplessness, depression, as well as immune and cardiovascular problems. He also shares a wonderful tip that I think is so important. He says instead of using the expression social distancing, we need to use the phrase distant socializing as a more realistic description and as an act of kindness to everyone. Now last week I was sharing some of my ideas with my brilliant friend Lisa Stolba, a retired school counselor of 30 years. She had so many great ideas that I just had to share them with you. Whether you have kids at home, whether you're a grandparent or have neighbor kids, raising them is going to take a village now more than ever. And so we can all benefit from Lisa's kid healthy advice as we stay healthy socially in our segment that we're calling Tips from a Pro. Hello and welcome to Carol Hedberg's supportive and helpful blogs in her video series during this time of the coronavirus pandemic. My name is Lisa and as a retired elementary teacher and school counselor, I'd like to share some parenting and kid tips that I've gleaned over the past 30 years with you. Here we go. Number one, kids are listening, but they're digesting what they hear at their particular developmental level. And this might lead to feelings that everything's okay, to fears that their beloved family members may die from this, or worse, that they're going to die. So number two, listen and watch your kids. What are they saying to you and their siblings? Help them identify the feelings that they're expressing by talking gently to them at their level about what you're seeing and hearing. Answer their questions with honesty and please don't go beyond what they are truly asking for. I wouldn't say to a five-year-old that grandma's going to die if she gets the virus, but what I would say is grandma could get sick, so that's why we can't go see her and we'll call her instead. Now to a 10-year-old, I might elaborate by adding, you know, because grandma has COPD, if she would get the virus, it might hit her harder than it would hit me. And to the high schooler who thinks they know more than you do, probe their thoughts first by saying, tell me, what is it that you know? What are you thinking? And carry on the discussion from there. Number three, help your kids understand that the majority of us are going to recover. My middle school neighborhood friend shared with me that he had found a great German website that explained COVID-19 in understandable language, and he even has his parents watching it, so kids can be teaching us what they know as well. Number four, if you have not developed a homeschool schedule yet, you better get started now. The vacation's over. Schedule your days into chunks, your routines for morning routines, breakfast routines, then your academic areas, math, reading, science, writing. Be sure that you allow time to get outside, to play, 
to express some creativity through art. Be sure that you allow musical rehearsal time, sports practice time, and social interaction time with their friends via the phone or the internet, however they would do that. Um, number five, make use of the resources that are out there for you. Schools are providing online classes and resources. They're even giving um, packets of homework and schoolwork for kids to do to be engaged while they're at home. Celebrities are recording books online for kids. Go to YouTube. Local newspapers have articles and activities for families to do together. IPR has many online links and resources for parents in their article. These Iowa organizations are here to help parents with kids at home. I would go to the IPR homepage and look up the article from there. We'll also link that uh, website at the end of this blog. For those of you who do not live in Iowa, check your local public radio station website for information. Number six. Allow your children's imaginations to grow, giving them the freedom to sit down and figure out what to do next with their time, how to play with their toys in a different way. Encourage them to create new games without your interference, no matter how silly they might be. Enjoy the laughter. And family time is critical right now. We all have time to sit down for some movie nights, munching on some popcorn, pulling out a favorite board game that you played, teaching your child how to play it, working a real puzzle, teaching your strategies to matching pieces. These are real life learning skills that we're teaching your children through play. Kids thrive when they receive positive attention, which will help to lessen their anxiety about the many changes that are happening in their lives. I hope that you have found something helpful in these basic tips and can put them to use in the days ahead if and when necessary. And eventually, we will get back to a new normal. In the meantime, stay safe and healthy, my friends. Lydia's healthy tip is to think of three important people in your life. Tell them each five things you really appreciate or admire about them. It is amazing how we just expect people to know but they do feel so good when they hear it. Now it's your turn. Whether you have kids underfoot or maybe you are reaching out to your adult daughter who's got kiddos at home, jot some notes in your journal and then chat with your health buddy. What is just one thing that you can do today to make a difference for those who love you and depend on you. Wow, this was a jam-packed day, wasn't it? We sure hope you glean some helpful advice on staying healthy socially. Stay tuned to tomorrow where we'll have this blog and vlog and we'll also have Lisa's extended video available. It will be invaluable for all of us, I'm sure. Thanks for joining us. See you tomorrow. You get through this. You break new.